Hi everybody, it's Kevin. Hi, I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And here we are at the cottage. Um, and we are going to make chili. And we are now into October. And fall is here in full color in the Michigan Thumb. And it is beautiful. It sure is. And uh, we've been enjoying the color. And uh, the weather. And we're having a really kind of warm snap right now, which is nice. But uh, to go with the fall theme, we're going to make chili. We're going to make turkey chili, but the twist is we're going to make pumpkin chili. You ready for this? I'm ready. So, we start with a package of um, ground turkey. Now, this, this is a pound and a quarter, so anywhere between a pound and a pound and a quarter will work. We're going to put this in first. I put in about a tablespoon of um, oil in the skillet because... Uh, the thing about ground turkey is, it's very lean. Uh, so it's okay to add a little bit of oil when you're yeah, working with something so lean. It is, because one, you don't want it to stick. Uh, and particularly, I'm using a cast iron skillet, which is just my preference for something like this. But, um, but and <clears throat> this skillet's fairly well seasoned, so... Uh, I wouldn't need to put in very much oil at all. So what kind of oil that. did you use? Just vegetable oil or this was canola oil. All right. So we're, we're going to brown our meat. Um, but as the meat goes in, I also like to put in the vegetables as well. So here's what I've got. I've got one eh, smaller onion diced and one large clove of garlic also diced. So we're going to put that in here. And you can bet your bottom dollar the smells are already mm -hmm. filling up the kitchen in a very nice way. And then we've got some real, we've got a melange. That's French. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a red, yellow, or orange, and green pepper. So about a cup, roughly, of chopped or diced sweet peppers. Sweet peppers of different colors. You could use all green if you wanted to, but. You know, why not have some fun? So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to put in a little S&P. Standards and fours. Yeah. A little salt and pepper. I'll take this up a little bit. So, um, some salt. And we're just going to get the... Basic seasonings yeah, going. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything combined. We want the turkey browned up, and we want the veggies to start to soften. So I'm just going to keep at this, uh, and then we'll come on back when it starts to... Um, when this is all done, and we can start on the next piece of it. We're going to make our turkey in the crock pot. Oh. Um, and we love using our slow cooker. Uh, the only thing you can't really do in a slow cooker is brown meat. It's very hard because it just doesn't get hot enough. So that's why we're doing it here. So we're going to brown this, get the vegetables nice and soft, then we're going to transfer everything into the slow cooker and add a few other ingredients, including some diced tomatoes and a can of pumpkin puree. I'm intrigued. I can't okay. wait to see how that pumpkin fits in and how it's going to taste. So... Here we are, making pumpkin chili at the cottage. Listening to Roberta Flack and Donnie Hathaway in the background. Donnie Hathaway and Roberta don't give me no flack. <laughs> we'll be right back. And loving it. And loving it. Alright, this is what I see when I sneak up behind Kevin as he's cooking the pumpkin chili tonight. Yeah, oh, did you see my tattoo? And yeah. Ralph, he has one too. A although, temporary tiger tattoo? Yes, because uh, we were out tonight and our tigers are in game one with Texas for the American League Championship. So we are rooting for our boys tonight. Showing Tiger Pride. And Tiger Detroit Tiger Pride. So, anyways, here back to the chili, what we've got is we've got the pound and a quarter of the ground turkey, the onion and the um, red, yellow, and green peppers all together here. The vegetables have gotten tender. They've been browning with the meat. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to transfer all of this into our slow cooker for our next phase. 
by the way, we should make sure to thank uh, Linda and Jan and Sally and Donna and Chris and Mama Z for uh, sharing those tattoos with us tonight. That's right. They're the ones who tattooed us up. I didn't get the tattoo where I really wanted it, but it looks okay where it is. So, all right. <laughs> I don't even want to ask. All right, so we've got... What's next? You know, let me bring this over here. So we've got our uh, meat and vegetables in. Now we do need to add some seasoning. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a couple of tablespoons of chili powder. And of course, chili powder is kind of a blend of spices. A little bit more. Don't scrimp on it. It seems like those weren't quite full. Okay. There we go. How's that? Thank you. Then I'm putting in a can of diced tomatoes along with all the juice from the can. Then I'm putting in... Pumpkin pie filling? This isn't pumpkin pie filling. This is just oh. pumpkin puree. And they are different because pumpkin pie filling actually has the seasonings, the spices, the cloves, and the all So this is just pure pumpkin flavor. This is flavor. just pure pumpkin flavor. Nothing in here except pumpkin. Wow. This and is going to be a good fall tasty treat, right? I just, yeah, I love the color with the tomatoes. Talk about, you know, the colors of the season. You've got the orange and you've got the, uh, the, the fire red from the tomatoes. Okay, so we'll here we go. Give that a good stir. We're going to give this a good stir. Mix it up nice. Are you going to add any other liquids like... Uh, nope. You know, again, you're going to have, you have liquid from the tomatoes and they're going to cook down and the pumpkin puree will cook down. Mm, I can smell that, can you? Yeah. You can smell the pumpkin mixed in with those delicious uh, spices. I was telling Kevin earlier how much, you know, just what a perfect blend onion and... Uh, Green peppers are what a great combination they make, and you can smell them mixed in with the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I know it may you know strike people as a little odd, a little odd pumpkin and chili, but um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on low and let it cook for four hours on low setting. Your meat's already cooked. Your vegetables have already been softened. So what you're really doing is the pumpkin and. Uh, tomatoes and the seasonings you're fusing everything together now uh, for the next four hours the other thing you can do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop it right here and we're actually gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna start it tomorrow so this is a great make-ahead dish for the next day so you can come this far you can refrigerate this and then tomorrow morning plug it in and cook it so that's I think what we're gonna do um, so anyways but we'll come back uh, and when we do we'll have four hours on low heat on our pumpkin chili right Can't here at the wait. cottage perfect for the fall okay See okay it is time for our pumpkin chili so uh, what we did is we've had it in the crock pot uh, for four hours and uh, you can uh, maybe Ralph you can take a look here and get it in it's a beautiful color oh yeah something important to note that it's on low for four hours after the third hour we put a little extra seasoning in and we put in just a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon so just a little more than a pinch of ground allspice and again, we've got pumpkin working in this chili, and those flavors are going to kind of pull that pumpkin out a little bit. They're just in the background, so you just kind of notice it when you taste it. And so, you can see it's a beautiful... Now, we didn't put any beans in this chili, but certainly, yeah, if you like beans in your chili, you could do that. Once again, it's a turkey pumpkin chili, and turkey pumpkin chili. the spices that we added towards the end, you can, of course, feel free to... Make it your own, add your own spices, things that you like. Um, but as Kevin said, the spices we added, I think, bring out the pumpkin a touch. In so, a good way. In a, yes, and and it goes great with things like we made some nice cornbread here um, with some chili, green chilies in it. We're going to top this with just a little bit of shredded cheddar. And then, of course, 
because one's Polish and one's Mexican. We gotta have our sour cream. So there we go. Pumpkin turkey chili. That'll put a smile on your jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. Great fall day. Enjoy the colors. Enjoy all the bounty of the autumn. And we'll see you next time here at the cottage. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. We decided to add a little bit onto the uh, end of our turkey pumpkin chili because uh, I was telling Kevin as we were eating it, it's too bad we didn't film us talking about the actual taste of it because he had mentioned that it might seem a little strange to people to make a turkey pumpkin chili, but you know what it's like, folks? It's like a, um, a rich and flavorful pumpkin soup, which I'm sure you may have tried, mixed with a really hearty chili. So it's like the creamy, rich smoothness of a pumpkin soup mixed with a chili. So those two things actually aren't as far apart as you might think. And boy, we are enjoying it, aren't we, Kevin? Yeah, we sure are. It's it's yummy. And the cornbread is a perfect addition. Even though it's a, a beautiful, sunny fall day, this would be good on a cold, wintry night or a cooler autumn evening. So once again, we just uh, Kevin wanted to film me saying <laughs> thanks for watching and enjoy these great tastes together. Yeah, make some of this chili. You will not be sorry. Mm -hmm. And if you can, eat it outside and enjoy what's left of this beautiful autumn. See you next time.